So we built this five-year plan, uh, and, and this is just something, a nice sort of tool that, that I, I still have in my wall of my office. And the idea was the first year that we would sort of kick this off, which is when Epigamia was born in 2000, um, and three years ago, was the foundation phase. And, and the idea behind the foundation, foundation phase was to build a team, uh, get your resources going, and get your business strategy right. And this is the phase we had reached after that first sort of friends, family, fool round and the self and, and the self funding round. The next phase for us was the brand phase, which we just completed, by the way, in March 2018. And the idea behind the brand phase was to make Epigamia uh, uh, aware, at least in the major cities of this country. Um, just out of curiosity, how many of you have heard of Epigamia before meeting me today? That is pretty awesome. Thank you. <laughs> and and if I did that just six to eight months ago, you wouldn't. Have, I would have seen maybe two or three hands. And, and, and I think that was the idea behind this phase. Our, our third phase is what we just entered this, this fiscal year, which is what I call the phase of efficiency. And the reason I'm walking you through this is that, uh, you know, whether you like it or not, it's important to have some sort of plan in mind uh, when you do go to raise capital. Um, at least that's what, what we did, and it, and it made sense. And what I mean by efficiency is every year needs to have a focus. So the first year was the foundation, the second year was the brand. This year is all about efficiency for us. So efficiency means we've now built the brand a little bit, people recognize it. How can we sort of you know, scale up our margins? Uh, we have some power with our vendors, yeah, get our profitability better, get our, uh, get our contribution margins better, get our unit, unit economics extremely healthy. And that's what we're doing as we speak. Not to, not to say that the brand isn't still getting built and we're not building distribution, but this is our core focus for this year. For the fourth year of the plan, and again, I built this uh, uh, three years ago, was proficiency. So once we've, we're four years into it, we better know what we're doing. Uh, so proficiency is defined as, as EBITDA margin, as a healthy EBITDA margin. And that was sort of the goal for us in, fourth, in the fourth year. And the fifth year is what, what I like to call unleashing the beast, where the company has become something that's formidable, something that you're proud of, I'm proud of, and, and we can sort of um, you know, sleep well at night, because the first four years you don't sleep well at all. Uh, and this is sort of the vision that I set out to do, and this is, this was the beginning of, of our sort of institutional fundraising journey when this vision really came to light. And again, I reiterate that that vision would not have happened if I didn't bring in the right sort of early partners, the angel investors, the advisors. I, I can't you know, stress how important those guys were to get to this stage. 